All right, Virgo, here we go. Getting late start this week. Got a lot going on around here at the house. It's weird. It's crazy. Crazy week. Virgo, this is a soulmate energies update for the sign of Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. It's a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. But if the title brought you in here, I promise you, you're here for a reason. If you found Steve's love tarot, you found it for a reason. That's how things work, folks. Right here, and that, and I'm shit at tagging. But uh, it's a timeless reading. When you find it, you're meant to find it. I got the world in my pre-shuffle. Before I hit the record button, I find out why am I here for Virgo? Right? Hmm. Why am I here for Virgo in general? I only do energy updates when there's something changing within the structure of a connection off of uh, that differs from the mid-month or the monthly reading. Well, I guess I'm here because the world's at the bottom. That sounds like something changing to me. A cycle is trying to end here, Virgo. And we're going to find out why I feel some resistance to it. Okay? And the energy is a little resistance to that world. The universe don't like it when it's trying to end a cycle and begin something new. And there's resistance. Resistance is futile, right? It's like that. Let's shuffle the deck for Virgo. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. Let's see where we go here. Yeah. Eight of Wands wanted to jump out. That's communication. All right, bottom of the deck. Before the cut is the hanged man, somebody, well, somebody's getting some perspective. I, I just, I feel some resistance on the perspective. I don't understand why that is. It's there. The hanged man, they're thinking about it. And, and the nine of cups, they do know you're the, the wish fulfilled. A wish is trying to come true here. This is coming up in your reading after the cut. That's pretty powerful. Okay, uh, let's give the deck a final shuffle. Let's see what the overall energy is here. and Let's do a reading. Let's see where we go. So far, this is very strange energy. Usually, I see the world, and I think, you know, shit's happening, but I don't know. Maybe shit is. I'm not prejudging. Okay, bottom of the deck, the overall energy is the Ace of Wands. Well, that's a passionate new beginning. That would imply that a cycle is ending from that world card, and a new cycle is about to begin. God knows the universe is trying to do it, and underneath it, getting in the damn way, is the King of Wands. The King of Wands, it's, it's the, and underneath that King of Wands is a Four of Swords. Somebody thinking about it. Thinking about it. Thinking, thinking. More hanged man type energy to Four of Swords, a little mini minor arcana hermit. This King of Wands is self focused. It's, yeah, it is my Spank Bank Upright card sometimes. There's a lot of passion here. I got passion here with the Knight of Wands. It's a passionate new beginning. But the King of Swords, or the King of Wands here, the energy I get off this. The King of Wands can be a very self-focused person, very ego and pride, a lot of ego and pride. We got the lion there that represents pride. Uh, a pack of lions is called a pride. You know, they're, very, they're a very proud animal. I'll tell you what. Also, the males sleep a lot. But anyway, aside from that, I got my shuffle here. This is the energy around the connection. Let's see where we go. This whole reading is clarifying an ace of wands with a world in my pre-shuffle. A cycle's trying to change. Right here's the energy around the connection. Right here's how your person feels. Right here's how they feel about you. This is the hidden energy, and this is the final outcome. I'm going to clarify everything. I'm going to throw some universe cards over the top. And if I think we need to extend this one, I will. If there's a soap opera here, or there's some more information we need, if I get a couple of what the hell moments, we'll go ahead and extend it. There'll be a link in the description. I don't know. I only extend videos where it's necessary. I'm not here to nickel and dime anybody. Ain't nobody need to extend 12 videos. That don't make sense to me. We knock yourself out, whatever. <laughs> right here, uh, hidden energies. Or not the hidden energies. Well, it's red with the hidden energies, but it's the energy around the connection. Let's pull it together. Let's see what comes off this Ace of Wands first. Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody getting in the way here. Somebody getting in the way. It's that uh, King of Wands at the bottom, self-focused. Queen of Swords, somebody wants to speak a truth. Just keep getting, I'm sorry, the Queen of Swords is looking the other way. The Queen of Swords got their fancy sandals on here and their big sword, but they're not looking at, at you. They're looking off in the distance, just doing a lot of thinking. A lot of that hanged man and, and four of swords we saw, because I had the four of swords under Mr. or Mrs. Self-Focus here. All right, fine. Let's keep going. What? How's, how's your person feel right now? Yeah, holding back. Four of Pentacles, holding back. Fear. A little bit of fear. They're, they're, they're worried about talking to you. Like Four of Pentacles, Cardinal Miser. Misers are fearful people. They hide their money and guard it with a shotgun. 
But somebody's holding back here. I told you. I read the energy first and then I pull the cards. So, I mean, the cards are just pretty pictures for you. I could do this whole reading right now. I know where this is going. It's going okay. Don't worry about it. You're all right. I don't think this is enough to stop them. I think the Queen of Swords is just taking a moment, taking a breath, right? Taking a knee. Is that what they say or something like that? I don't know. Right here. How's your person feel about you? Not what they show you, not what they tell you. What, what's really going on here? Yeah, page of Swords. A lot of spying. They're watching you. They're watching you. If you write a blog, someone writes a blog, was watching this, they're reading it. I got the, I got the word blog in my head straight off. Uh, but they're, they're spying on all of you. They're keeping an eye on you while they're thinking, while they're taking a knee. A little fancy sandals here on the dock. Hmm, should I, shouldn't I, I'm going to hold back. A little bit of fear, a little bit of fear. I don't know. That's why we clarify later. Hidden energy, red with the queen of swords. What's the universe want you to know? Yeah, two of wands. Watch it. Morris is sitting around. They've let go of something on their side. They, they have made a decision here, but right now, and they do. I'm drawn to this globe. They do see a whole new life, a whole new world with you. You'd be a hell of a catch, a hell of a friend, a hell of a lover, a hell of a whatever. But so far, they're, they're up on the third floor here just looking out a window. This card's talking about what this page is doing here. They're behaving the page. Child. Immature. The Queen of Swords isn't immature. But she looks very pensive and she's looking away. And this person here is not making eye contact either. The eyes are closed. There's no eye contact. They're holding back. Nope, I'm not spending my love money. Mm, okay. All right. Nice hat. I like the wrap there. It's nice. Right here. Final outcome. Red with Little Miss nice hat wrap here. With the eyes closed. Nope, I'm not spending my love money. Let's see if you do. <laughs> I bet you have no choice. I knew it. See, I told you. I already read the energy. The judgment. <laughs> They don't have any choice here. There's no choice here. This is the universe. Is, it's on a karmic loop. They want a second chance with you. They're a little scared to come get it. They've been watching. They're pretty impressed with you. I can tell you that. But right here, the judgment in the final outcome doesn't... Judgment don't come out for a bang in a bar parking lot. Like I always say, this is a very, very, very powerful connection. Judgment, this four of pentacles, it's red with the four of pentacles in my reading. This four of pentacles is no match. For this major arcana card here that's ruled by God, source, whatever. Because I don't know about you, but I don't have the power to resurrect anything. Mm. You know. Yeah, your person wants a second chance and they're being sort of pushed off the dock to get it. She's going to get pushed in the water. No, I don't want to go for a swim. No, I don't. I got my fancy sandals on. Somebody's going to come right up behind her and just grab her and chuck her in the water. It's kind of what the universe is doing here. Let's clarify. See if we can get some verification on what I'm saying. Why is this Queen of Swords here pensive looking out at the water? Thinking about love. Looking out at water. Thinking about love. That's what I'm getting off of that. You know, Still a few clouds in the sky. Not sure what to do. A few clouds in the sky here holding back. A little bit of fear. Watching. Watching. Setting their intention. I think they've made the decision. The Two of Wands, the universe is trying to tell us they've made the decision to come towards you. Or, or at least know that it's a good idea and not a bad idea, which is a start. Why is this Queen of Swords here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, off. Sarah Gilbert. Oh, man. It's a good thing this isn't a cancer reading. My cancers freak out when they see this card. It's the most hated card in a cancer reading. Let me tell you, Two of Swords... Sarah Gilbert, little, so whoever drew this was watching Roseanne at the time they drew it. it it's, they don't know what to, it's, it's everything I told you about the Queen of Swords. I told you when the card fell, you all watch a lot of tarot readings. You're like, oh good, they're coming to speak their truth. Yay, yay. And I said, no, she's looking away. It, 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 they're just thinking, just sitting. Yeah, two of Swords, it's blocked communication. It's crossroads. It's not sure what to do. It's just verifying my read on the energy. Is all it's doing. Why is Sarah Gilbert here? Why is the Two of Swords here? Yeah. Because they, they've already made the decision. It's what I told you. The, the, the Knight of Cups. They've made the decision to come in and talk to you. They just don't know how to do it. They're a little bit fearful. I don't think they're going to be able to be fearful too much longer with Judgment. Judgment's kicking this girl's ass to spend this money. Okay? This is the card of the miser. So, Judgment is here. And it's red with this. And the universe is like, 
You need to spend. You gotta pay some bills. I gotta pay some karmic debt here. Why is the four of swords here? Or four of uh, pentacles here. I'm sorry. Why is the four of pentacles here? Tell me about this girl with this nice head wrap here. Mm. Yeah. Tower. Told you. Not gonna be able to sit too much longer. Again, I read the energy first. If you're new here, I'm an actual energy reader, not some bullshit. Right here. Um, <laughs> why do you think it's just my hands on video? I want people recognizing me. No, I'm just teasing. Uh, but anyway, four pentacles. Holding back. Holding back. But they're not going to be able to much longer. Judgment's kicking their ass. It's right here. It's a tower. It's just going to happen. They, they can't. They got, us, they got karmic debt to pay here. Why is the tower here? Yep. 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 Eight of Cups reversed. This card keeps coming out reversed. I keep putting it in the deck upright. It keeps coming back, coming out reversed because it means one thing. It means someone's coming towards you. Someone's no, no longer walking away. They can't. They can't get you out of their mind. This Knight of Cups needs to come in. A tower moment is happening. Judgment is forcing the miser to spend the money. Right now, they're spying. It's a whole, whole reading is clarifying the Ace of Wands. Passionate new beginning. And the world came out in my pre-shuffle, which is, again, a new cycle trying to begin here. Why is this page of swords here? All this spying. So much spying in the energy. My God. Even I get spying off of the two of wands here. It's like your car was parked down below and they're looking out the window at you. Spying on you. God damn it, I hate that. Sometimes I have to take a piss and... I want to make sure. I always look around, make sure nobody's looking out the window at me or something. I end up on YouTube. Look, it's Steve from Steve's Love Tarot taking a piss in the street. Oh my God! Stop looking. It's not nice. Let a man take a piss. All right. Why well, is the Page of Swords here? Justice. Karma needs to balance. It's everything I just got done telling you about the Four of Pentacles. They got karmic debt. They need to pay. They're spying. They're not going to be able to hold back much longer. They're not. They're feeling the same way. Also, this is a mirror image here. They're feeling the same way you were feeling back when they probably blew you off. Which is how we got in this mess in the first place. Now they want to come back. Oh, I want to come back. Why do they always want to come back? Why don't you just stay in the first place, you damn fool? Right here, justice. Yeah, the fool. They want to come back. I just got done saying, I just got done calling your person a damn fool. I just want to point that out. I didn't look at this card. I pulled this card. The damn fool. And there's the fool. There it is. I told you. Your person's a damn fool. They, they, they knew they loved you right from the beginning. It's clear in the damn energy here. Right here, they got karmic debt they need to pay. There's karma here in your connection. And, and right here, they're, they're waiting for the right moment to take a leap of faith to come towards you. It's basically what they're doing. And, the, and they're not going to be able to wait much longer, like I told you with the Spore of Pentacles. The universe, with, with a tower falling on top of that, it, it's like the uni and judgment here, read with these cards, the universe is like, come on, get, get it, get to stepping. Go. No time for this shit. But all the time, all the while, this, this queen of swords is sitting here just thinking pensively. It's the energy around the connection. They're, they're, they're on the precipice of making a move, and the move they're going to make is a knight of cups. It's going to happen out of nowhere. It really is. A, the, the fool energy is... They're just waiting for some, they're, they're spying to wait for some right moment. I don't know what the fuck that means. Two of wands, why is it here? What's this two of wands, somebody watching me take a piss down on the street? Why, maybe watching you. I don't know. I know you might be a girl, I don't know. That, that's a little inconvenient, but hey, you gotta look up and make sure nobody's looking out the damn window. I don't know. It is what it is. You gotta go, you gotta go. Here we go. Yep, there we go. Just about to make a move here. Sarah Gilbert is just about two of swords. It's red with the two of swords. It's the six of swords. It's communication. It's a slow moving energy. But she's wearing red. I got red here in these roses and it's a match. It's a color match. If nothing else, it's a match for the red. This is the red shawl from this deck laid out as a blanket right here on the Knight of Cups. Oh, I can invent shit, but either way, that's, that's a color match. Color is energy. You don't have to read energy from the universe like me. You can just pull it from colors. If you're colorblind, you're fucked, like I always say. But that's a match. These two are tied together. Knight of Cups is about to come in. Six of Swords, they, they know you're the 
catch. You're the one. You're calmer waters. I feel that they've loved you the whole time. There's a lot of love here. I don't have a lot of lovey-dovey cards except for the Knight of Cups. But there's a lot more than what's represented here in cards. The universe has a, has a, a very specific message here for you. The message is very clear. This person's holding back. Don't let it fool you. Okay? They're spying like mad. They're just about to, to take a leap of faith here. They're just about to. Why is the Six of Swords here? Four of Swords. Yeah. They are stopping themselves at the moment. It's right here. These cards are red with these cards. These cards say the same thing these do. I've got, look, I'll prove it to you. I got someone watching. I got someone watching. I got someone confused as to what to do. I got someone confused as to what to do. I got forward movement and communication with red color match. I got forward movement and communication, Knight of Cups with red color match. And she's wearing red too. So again, the Knight of Cups is getting kind of cock blocked here by your person's own propensity to just sort of sit around and, eh, I'm waiting for the right time, you know. Fuck off. I don't think the universe cares. With judgment here in the final outcome, and this, this, any cards that fall here, including this one, are red with these cards, and I got a tower and an eight of cups. The tower is forcing this person to turn right back around from walking away from you and come straight in. Take this leap of faith. And the universe is forcing the whole thing. The universe is causing whatever tower this is. Why is judgment here? Tell me about judgment. This is serious. This is the real deal here. I mean the real deal card deal, uh, card pull. I'm not talking about me. This is very clear in the cards. This is a very clear message. You, your person does not have a choice here. Some, the universe causing some kind of tower on their side, and they're going to come running to you. But right now, they're busy thinking and watching Roseanne reruns. Uh, judgment. What we got? Why is it here? <laughs> Knight of Swords, I'll just pull the next one. Fuck it. Two of Cups. Come on, folks. And the crossing card here at the bottom of the deck would be the Five of Pentacles. This is someone fixing to come out of the cold. We got cards of forward movement. They're coming out of the cold. They're in the cold. They're coming out. Judgment, forcing a tower, causing this person to come booking in. Can I turn right back around and come back? Two soulmates coming together. Done deal. This is a cut and dry reading. I got no extended I can do here. It's not need. It's not needed. I got no need to nickel and dime you for anything. There's nothing I could do. We'd just be staring at a blue table for 30 minutes. Honest to God. I mean, it is very, very cut and dry. This person wants a passionate new beginning with you. We saw the world in my pre-shuffle. The universe is trying to force a new beginning, a new cycle. They're trying to force a cycle to end and a new cycle to begin. This person, I'll just paraphrase. This person is sitting on their ass. They're not doing anything. They feel the love for you. They know they want to come towards you. They got a shitload of karma they need to balance. All this sitting around is costing them. The universe is getting done with it. Universe, God, source. I don't give a fuck. You can call it whatever you want. You can make up a name. You go Vaughn. Well, we made up that name for another reading. We'll make it up here. Whatever you want to call it, it is not happy. Loki, Thor, I don't care. The Hulk himself, not happy. Going to cause a tower moment. Going to cause Little Miss, I got this really cool rap on my head here to start spending some of their love money, sending this person right back to you. Eight of Cups Reverse means one thing. Someone who walked away from you, some walked away from something they love, is turning their ass around and coming right back. Why? Because they feel this damn connection. This Two of Cups is red with this Eight of Cups Reverse in my reading. They feel this damn connection. It's two soulmates coming together. This is almost Major Arcana for me. It's the most powerful card in the Minor Arcana for me. It's how I feel the energy off it, and it's how the person who drew this card felt it too, because it's one of the most colorful cards in the deck. And color is energy. Right here, Knight of Swords. Coming in, they got a specific message for you. I told you when this tower happens. Before this card came out, I told you when this tower happens, they're going to come running in. The, the judgment's going to, the universe itself causing some, something to happen on their side causes them to come right back around to you. They're going to come running in. They got, a, they got a very specific message for you. There's a passionate new beginning coming here. A cycle's ending in the very near future. For most of you between now and Lionsgate, for the rest of you, near future in tarot means now to three months. Either way, it's a very clear cut and dry reading. I'm going to pull a couple cards from the universe for you, see if there's anything else the universe wants you to know about this connection for the greater good. 
So what you got for Virgo universe? What you got? How we doing? Well, we're back. Wow. I shuffled around. I'm just going to go through the cartoon flip book at the bottom. Somebody wants to come out of the cold, Five of Pentacles, because they got a new perspective. And for those of you who read cards, uh, why did I say they want to come out of the cold? Because I got to look at all the other cards around it. We don't just do what we, if, if we were just doing one card readings, we'd say somebody's out, feels like they're out in the cold. That's it. I got no other cards around it. I don't know whether they want to or not. Blah, 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 blah. What, all the other cards around it say they want to come out of the cold, including the card that comes after it, which is the hangman. They got a new perspective on this. They don't like sitting here in this. They don't like sitting in the thorns. There's a key right there they can just put in the lock and come on in. Probably showing up as a page. Page of Pentacles, pants half down at your door, <laughs> pants off in your text message or DM, whatever. Uh, they're thinking about every word they're going to say. This is part of the spying and the timing. Something about timing here with this fool coming with a uh, to bring some equal give and take. Someone who six of Pentacles, someone who didn't give to you in the past, is about to come with a little bit of reciprocation, a little long overdue. From the top of the deck, I got uh, I got two cards. I got the Seven of Swords, and I got the Five of Cups. This person feels a lot of regret, and their inclination, one of the reasons they're sitting on their ass is because their inclination is to sneak away. This also tells me that they blew you off in the past, the Seven of Swords. If they rejected you in the past, it was a deception, and they're sitting in regret for it. Most readers believe the Five of Cups, three cups down, two cups standing. The two cups standing are the Two of Cups. And that's what they're coming to get. This person's sitting in regret. And they got a whole new perspective. This is the second time we've seen the hangman. They got a whole new perspective. You're going to get communication from this person, most of you. For some of you, they'll check it out. I mean, it's a general reading. The person does have some fear here, but I don't feel, I feel almost 100% of you. At some point in the near future, you're going to hear from this damn person. They have turned around, taken a second look at you, and the universe is kicking their ass. You don't get to reject a, a, a connection this powerful. You don't get to just say no. You can, but that doesn't mean the karmic debt is paid. All karmic debts are paid. Destiny rolls on. If you're on your way to the grocery store and you, turn, and you decide to turn your Prius into the woods, run up on the curb and go into the woods, well, that's fine. Go for it. You're an idiot, but that's fine. But you still need groceries, don't you? So now you're going to have to get out and walk. That's your tower moment. <laughs> now i got to walk to the grave. And then I'm going to have to walk all the way back with all those bags because they won't let you leak to take the carts out. they got that blocking thing that stops the cart at the end. Damn it. Tell you what. That's your reading. i got no reason to do an extended here. This is pretty cut and dry, Virgo. But there you go. I hope this reading is helpful to you. If you like this reading, please like, share, and subscribe. I appreciate all the subscribers, everybody who follows, shares, all that, watches, whatever. Hope this reading was helpful. Good luck to you, Virgo.